director James Wen of Aquaman 2 talks to Amber Heard and Mira and explains why the actress could be depressed. The legal disputes between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp have given us access to more behind-the-scenes information regarding Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom than most films that are still a few months away from release. Heard's assertion that her part in the sequel genuinely decreased with time was one of the most significant pieces of information. Although Mira's importance has shrunk over time, James Wen acknowledges that this was part of his earlier justification for it. Amber Heard and Jason Momoa collaborated on the first Aquaman film. However, the teaser for Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom mainly omits her character Mira, and rumors have it that she has a much smaller part in the follow-up. Heard's role was reduced during screenplay changes because director James Wan told Empire that he had intended for romance to play a significant role in the first movie but not the second. The filmmaker clarified, It makes sense what stated about the character being reduced in scope because, at the time I was filming this picture, she hadn't even crossed my mind. The thoughts that directors and I have behind the scenes are not always known to the actors, but I always had this planned. I said from the beginning that the first movie would be an action-adventure romantic comedy in the vein of Romancing the Stone and the second would be a straight-up buddy comedy. Tango and Cash was what I wanted to do. It was hinted during Depp and Heard's defamation trial that Momoa and Heard's lack of chemistry was the reason behind the choice to pair up on the Hira character in the follow-up. Wen, however, claims that he always intended to make a film that would center on the personas of Aquaman and Orm, which required reducing Mira's part to create more space for Orm. Played by Patrick Wilson